Hello folks, welcome back to the program. Yes, we're marking our first talk show of the day and Ramadan is just around the corner. Well, let me revise that. Ramadan is finally here and as the government had finally announced that tomorrow we will start our fasting day, a day during the Ramadan month. Interestingly, a little, as we know, fasting actually offers many physical and also mental benefits. Yes, that's right, Carol. Apart from benefiting the body, fasting can also improve your mental health. To find out more, let's welcome personal growth clinical psychologist, Sherlyn Octavia. Good morning, Sherlyn. Hi, good, good morning. morning. Happy Monday, even though it's raining outside. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, so uh, we're going to ask about uh, fasting, right? Yes. Yes, so um, we want to discuss the health benefits of yes. fasting, especially in regards to mental health. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious, have you ever told those with mental health issues to try and actually give fasting a go? Okay, that's actually an interesting question. And honestly, I've never um, asked my clients or patients to do like fasting for the therapy method since as psychologists, uh, what we do in therapy is the talking therapy. So basically, we didn't, we don't have the license to like change like their dietary habits or else. But nowadays, I think um, the mental wellness approach is more holistic. Yes. So yeah, it takes like a collaborative from us as clinical psychologists and also like nutritionists and psychiatrists and other doctors, medical right. yeah, MD and medical doctors to like. I'll build someone's uh, mental wellness. Yeah. yeah. So it right. can be an option. And definitely because we are now so used by intermittent, uh, intermittent fasting especially. Yes. But now during the Ramadan month, this is a fasting or a uh, definitely for those who are faithful. Mm -hmm. This is fasting in Ramadan month is a part of our submission to the Lord Almighty. So with that said, what health benefits and also mental health benefits that we can gain? From fasting, this is not only we're not eating, you know, before the sun, before the sunrise until the sunset, but this is more to this. Yes, yeah. I think um, fasting is actually plays a central role in many cultures and religions. Uh, maybe in Indonesia, especially for Muslims. Mm -hmm. And what is uh, what's interesting is that fasting doesn't only mean uh, abstaining oneself from food, but also like avoiding harmful speech That's and right. yes, negative actions. Mm -hmm. And I think. Uh, those all of the practices um, in Ramadan fasting um, also train us to be like mindful of what we think, what mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. say, and also what we do in our yeah for a whole month. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And by doing so, we actually like um, trying to build um, positive habits and also behaviors. And I can say that um, there are. More, much more benefits yeah. uh, than than what does the physical health can bring from fa uh, fasting. For example, um, fasting can also help us to enhance our mental function. Mm -hmm. right. So because when we um, when we are fasting, uh, which means like the abstaining uh, oneself from food, from eating and drinking, um, there are also less toxic um, chemicals or materials. Uh, flowing through like our blood mm. system and lymphatic system, yes. so it makes us feel like it, it, it is easier to think because the energy we normally use um, to digest food yeah. is now available to the brain. Right. Yes, right. that's the first. So, like by doing fasting, we can have like clearer thought and then better memory, mm. and also um, uh, what it costs. Um, better memory and like we can also have sharpness of other senses yes. as well yeah. yes even though some some people would say like the first days of ramadan is very hard because yes. we're not used to it yes yes, yes. because our body time. takes time to adjust that's yeah. right yeah of and course. definitely here in indonesia other than ramadan now that's coming to one more day it's also nyepi as mm -hmm. the hindus yes. faithful mm -hmm. also right now they celebrate or commemorate the silence mm -hmm. uh, day and mm -hmm. that's also somewhat like a fasting yeah yes. so, what 24 hours fasting mm -hmm. but even more uh, of an in-depth fasting because it's not just uh abstaining from eating and drinking but also uh, consuming other uh, products of you know worldly beings yes yes and uh, I'm, I'm curious because uh when we fast uh usually 
some of us will feel uh, angrier, like mm -hmm. we tend to, right? Because <laughs> like, yes, you're hungry. Because you're hungry, uh, <laughs> yes. you get the hangry mode on you. Um, and sometimes it's harder for us to take control of ourselves mm -hmm. in that state of, of hunger. And uh, do you think that um, there is a connection between fasting and maybe mental health yes. issue? Like, can, can it lead to mm -hmm. even depression? Okay. Fasting? So I believe like the essence of the purpose of fasting is actually like to um, 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 to be our like um, better version of ourselves. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To enhance like our personality and our yeah good habits. So yes. um, on, on the contrary, it actually brings more like improved mood and also subjective well-being because um, when we are fasting, we are, we try to like regulate our emotions more. Mm -hmm. So we have more time to practice like the emotion regulation, the coping mechanism, the healthy one. Yeah. Yes, and. A meta analysis on like Ramadan fasting also found that um, fasting is actually associated with more uh, significant decrease in depression and anxiety, oh, wow. even wow. obsession, compulsion, and like paranoid ideation. So, yeah. Yeah, it's so it is actually good not just for your health but also psychologically. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and it's course. proven. It's a clinical mm -hmm. uh, trials. But like you said that we need to adjust. So mm -hmm. how can we prepare ourselves to ensure, especially during the Ramadan month or you know any fasting month that's mm -hmm. you know behold by any culture or faith beliefs, mm -hmm. that we can have that productive uh, submission and also you know that we can have finally the resolution that we wanted. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have to be aware that when we change like our um, habits, like our uh, pattern, our dietary pattern. We have to like go slowly instead of fast. Okay. So yeah. in um, physically, we have to like take it easy on our body. So limit like strenuous movement or exercise, mm -hmm. and yeah, just keep it balanced like uh, like you always do. And like for the eating habit, um, whenever like we want to have like the first meal, I mean the sahur. Yes. Yes. Um, we have to also like uh, get back to uh, the food slowly. So we have to yeah process it. Um, and give it more time like for our body to digest the food yes. and also like right. have um, make sure that we are not dehydrated during mm -hmm. the days yeah and for the sleep habit we also have to make sure that we sleep one hour earlier so yeah we have like more time more duration like we have five through six hours I think yeah yes. at least. yeah um, and that's also sufficient for us to like start our pro uh, day productively yeah and be mindful of your yes. sore also and when you break the fasting, yes. what you eat. Because sometimes of people course. are so compulsive, yeah. yes. right? During sore, like, okay, so I need to eat problem. everything because mm -hmm. we have like 12 hours for us to fast around yeah, that time, right? And then when you break the fast, you want everything, especially mm -hmm. the sweets. Yeah, especially <laughs> the sweets. <laughs> and so that would not be good, again, for your men, your mentality and also yes. psychologically. Because psychologically, I think people is always wanting a lot of food, I think two hours mm -hmm. prior to the break fast. Yes. So how can we also prepare for that? You know, how can we have our mind focused and be right. mindful mm -hmm. before those times, Charlene? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, before like the, uh, uh, the break fast, yeah. yeah. yes. oh okay, so yeah, um, because now we are aware that our mind tends to like um, making us want to like yeah compulsive eating, do the compulsive mm. eating, we have to be like um, have um, such um, time, reflection time before like breaking the reflection time. Reflection. Yes. Like that. Reflect right. on yourself first. Yes. Yeah, that is actually uh -huh. good. Yeah. So yes. Before you eat and before yes. you order stuff and food, you yes. reflect on do I actually need yeah. this? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yes, and instead of like ordering in a huge portion, mm -hmm. uh, we can try to like yeah order it uh, one by one, like mm -hmm. pieces by pieces. So right. we know that because our brain takes 20 minutes to tell us that Okay, yeah, okay. okay. We are already yeah, full. full. Okay, that's okay. what we do. I mean, you're also a chef. Please mm. do share with us what would be the best okay. mindful break fasting menu. Um, I think it leads down to uh, what is good for your body. Mm -hmm. And you kind of know what is good for your body, mm -hmm. but then your mind thinks that you, you don't, right? Yes. Um, I mean, it's 
like the healthiest uh, food might not be the best or like the most delicious food that you can consume yeah. especially at that time when you're very hungry like you want to eat uh, a lot of food and that's once. like me like an hour before breakfasting right. i want everything right there on the table All right yeah it's a it, it but you you kind of know right you kind of mm -hmm. know uh which one is good for you and which yes. one is not yes yeah. we actually know yeah so it has to be very mindful also that we have to really you know indulge ourselves right yeah. now as mm -hmm. we grow older too yeah. so yeah so uh again as we observe this uh charlene again we want to have a very mindful Ramadan month, hopefully, and of course, you know, our fasting as our submission to the God Almighty. So how can, you know, psychologically we uh, be ready? Because it's one more day before the fasting yes. day or before Ramadan. Mm -hmm. How can we prepare ourselves in the next 24 hours, you might say? Okay, so because it's uh, really in uh, in front of our eyes, you know, yes, yes. Really yeah. in the corner. So um, the first thing is to like back to the um, yeah, essence of the purpose of the Ramadan. Okay. I believe that Ramadan wants, uh, yeah, it's um, wants us to like uh, have a moment of reflection of what is already good in us, and also what things that we have to be like, imp like to have. We we have to improve. Sorry. That's right. Um, so um, use every moment now before like the Ramadan to like yeah again have re some reflection time optimize the time yeah. uh, have some moment with ourselves yeah. to think about what uh, triggers us usually during like yeah not in our daily lives right um, yes and also like what things that we want to improve because we are given the time we have the whole month to yes. like practice it yes and also like reconnect with our friends and family members yes um, uh, the moment that we are not so privileged to have in on daily basis so yeah, yeah I think we have to take some time to like um, notice it notice that in ourselves uh, so we are we, we can more prepare for like yeah that's right for the home right 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 to yes. recollect ourselves during to, the Ramadan to recollect Ramadan. I like that yes. and to reflect upon ourselves yes what actually triggers us yes right. it takes 30 days to practice like you were saying before the people it takes time to adjust mm -hmm. so we're adjusting to be better in the next 30 days yeah. which is actually a lot of time that's right yes, mm -hmm. yes. so Sherlyn thank you so much for coming to the studio and sharing with us the tips and tricks to keep ourselves sane during the holy month of Ramadan. <laughs> Alright folks, so right now we are set for a commercial break, but when we return, we'll have more updates from the world. So keep it here only on the C1 Show. <laughs>